I fell into scaffolding after school. My uncle was a supervisor. I worked on the tools for five years and then I got an opportunity to work in the office as a scaffold design engineer. So I spent eight years at college and university. I've just passed this year and now I provide solutions for scaffolding and access. I joined the military from school and then finished that, done my time, and then I, uh, I ended up going into scaffolding. My family are in construction anyways. My brother and my dad are both plasterers. I didn't, I didn't know what trade I wanted to go into. I knew I just wanted a trade, the way I saw it was. Whatever trade you are, you're gonna need scaffolding, if that makes sense. If you put bricks down, you need scaffolding. If you're plastering, you need scaffolding. So I tried to think as logically as I could and thought, well, what trade am I gonna go into where they're always gonna be needed? Uh, from leaving school, straight out of school, straight into the scaffolding game, I realised that the scaffolding game was always outdoors. It seemed to provide a good standard of living, so I thought this is the game for me. So I did my bachelor degree in aerospace engineer, and I was focused on design and manufacturing. And then because I really like these topics, I decided to study a master degree in mechanical engineer. The engineering concepts are exactly the same to design an airplane and to design a scaffold. So I decided to give us the scaffolding industry a chance, and here I am. We're always doing something big, something different, something awkward. You've got to actually think about what you're scaffolding around. It's not just a straight run. Everything can be planned out. But it's, it's when you turn up and come to build it, everything can have to change. You've got to be willing to adapt and think on your feet to do that. I'm working on a quarry at the moment on shutdown, so I'm just basically just shadowing the scaffolders and just learning, you know, how to scaffold really, and you know, just the size of tubes and boards, etc. I've worked all over the world, to be honest. I've delivered oil rigs. I've worked in war-torn countries. I've seen the world and it's all through scaffolding. It's great travelling all over because if you work in one place too long you might start getting frustrated with the same, same, seeing the same things every single day whereas you move around so you get to see new people, see new things and experience different types of jobs. You're not just stuck doing a square every day. I just love the challenge. I like something new. Every day is something different. One day you'll be on a network rail job on a, on a bridge, sometimes you're on a petrochemical site, and then just basic things like schools and hospitals and things like that, so it's very, very varied. There's always potential for other learning, it's not just scaffolding, like I've got other tickets such as a fork truck driving ticket, first aid, defibrillation courses and all that sort of stuff, it's not just basic, you're constantly learning something new within the industry. I think certainly it's not a, such a macho job as what it used to be and it's made it more of a recognised industry. The camaraderie is brilliant. I would say it's similar to the military. It's really dead interesting what you have to see it and understand it just to appreciate just the, the teamwork and communication that goes on every day between every single squad. I sort of work with a few people who have been in the game for quite a long time and over the years um, rules and stuff have changed so they, they're still learning as well which is good. I get to be myself there, I don't have to, I don't feel like I'm judged by anybody or I have to act a certain kind of way, just really like, can let your hair down in the end, just enjoy yourself. It's not something that you usually see a woman doing either, so it's just, it's just a good opportunity for me to throw myself into something that I don't really see many women doing. I like to change, change that view that women should get into scaffolding. The clear sort of pathway to achievement that you have from your scaffolding is unlike anything I've ever seen. I've worked across multiple sectors within education. If you enter into the scaffolding industry, you are very clear on what you have to do to get to a particular level, how long that's going to take, and also the possibilities, and certainly the remuneration is something that increases at every single stage of their qualifications. So, yeah, it makes me wish I'd sort of known a bit more about scaffolding a lot sooner. <laughs> the qualifications I've gained through scaffolding is I never thought I'd be there, to be honest. From leaving school without anything to go right through to where I am now it is, is good and I've done that with the help of people in the industry. We probably have about 380 apprentices come through the National Construction College a year and probably another 1,400 um, adult scaffolders that come, tra um, come through for training. A lot of people are very hands-on but they can learn by actually doing things, seeing things, so they learn in, in a different way and actually you've got some very, very competent people out there We've never done very well at school, but they, you know, they can read drawings, they're worth a weight in gold, basically. Career progression from here would be chartership as an engineer and offering that technical knowledge to my peers and the scaffold companies we work for. Hopefully going to supervisory in the next five years and running jobs and then 
when I get into my 30s and 40s, hopefully running my own company. Health and safety is, is massively important within the industry. People stereotype scaffolding is a very dangerous job. It's, it's not the case anymore because of health and safety has changed that. You have your harness on every day, no matter what. Even if you're on the floor, we have our harness on. You know, you watch out for each other, you check each other's harnesses before you start the day. Over the years that I've been involved with the industry, there's been a big change in welfare, safety. Years and years ago, you just went there and you fended for yourself. But today, it's 100% better. So the NASC has raised the standard of our knowledge on scaffolding. I mean, they test a lot of the scaffold equipment before it's sent out to the industry. All the technical and the safety guidance that they produce, it's for industry, by industry. It gives us a better scope of people we can work for and it pushes us to make sure we stay to where we want to be at the peak at all times. NSC provide everything you need. There's no way you can come along and fail. You will become what you want to become. It's the first place you get to hear about new innovations. And I think that it just gives you that credibility that otherwise being a small company wouldn't give you. You're better off being a small company that's been going two years and this in the NASC than being a small company that's been going 37 years that's not in the NASC. It's excellent that you're in a like club of people who all have the same issues going on. So. But great on spot. Is my job well paid? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, I'm happy with what I get, yeah. I'm only 22. Now I'm on the verge of earning £50,000, which is quite good for someone who left school with hardly any qualifications. It's almost one of them jobs where you will certainly have the choice to glide through the difficult times and you'll always be, you'll always be well paid. It is a well paid job. It's a brilliant career because there's, there's so many sides to it. You, you don't just think, oh, I'm going to be a scaffolder, you could be a surveyor for scaffolding, you could work in the health and safety side, you can, you can be an estimator, you can be a negotiator, there's so many different sides to scaffolding. So yeah, I definitely recommend it to anyone. I will definitely recommend women to, to become part of the scaffolding industry. It's very interesting. It's not difficult, it's, it looks difficult, but with the time, with experience, it gets easier and easier. It is an interesting job and I would, I would advocate it for anyone personally. I, I think. It's, it's not the monotonous or the slapdash trade that perhaps people either think or thought that it was. Irrespective of whether you, you're academically inclined or not, there was definitely a role for you within scaffolding. 